what you should be seeing right now is our Firefly homepage, firefly.adobe.com. We released it, I believe, back in March. So it hasn't even been a year yet, and we're already on Image Model 2. So as you can see on the Firefly website, we have a few different modules. We have text to image, we have generative fill, text effects, uh, generative recolor, text to template, which is available in Adobe Express, and text to vector, which is available in Illustrator. And we have a lot more in exploration, but I wanna start with text to image. Now, if I'm being honest, text to image, again, necessary, right? But it's not my favorite generative technology, right? Type in some stuff, you get an image. Now, I do wanna show you a few tricks, right? So let's say you want to generate something like a baby lion. So down here at the bottom left-hand corner, right down here, you can type in your prompt. And many of you might be familiar with generative technology and text to image. Type in a prompt, you get an image, right? And Adobe Firefly is pretty quick. You're gonna see results relatively quickly. But what you're gonna notice is, I mean, it does a pretty good job, right? But you might have an idea in your mind that you really wanna to start to refine it. And that's kind of where our properties over to the right come into play. We have full control over this image. So we can choose, do we want a landscape image? Do we want a portrait image? Square, widescreen, all different types of aspect ratio. Let's go ahead and choose landscape. And it doesn't update immediately because it gives you some time to really refine what you want. You can also choose a photo or artistic. Uh, in this case, we're looking for photo, so we're going to keep it at photo. Visual intensity. This is interesting because some other text to image tools, very intense. Some are not very intense. And we just have a nice little slider. So you can think of it as if you pull it all the way to the left, it's more of like a raw image, right? Something you might take maybe on a phone. And if you go all the way to the right, you're going to get very artistic and stylized, right? The middle is pretty good. I'm going to bump it up just a little bit. We have style matching. I'm not going to cover that today. But down here, we have some effects if you want. So if you wanted like a bokeh effect, layered paper, all sorts of things. And then you can really control the color and tones. So if you want more pastel or muted colors, lighting, which is really interesting, composition. So if you want something more zoomed out or macro photography, we really give you full control over how this image looks. But for me, it really comes down to the prompt. So I've gone ahead and you know changed it to landscape, bumped the visual intensity a little bit, but I do want to really start to tell Firefly what I want with this image. So I might want, you know, let's say a portrait of a baby lion, right? And that does factor into things a little bit. It'll sometimes give you more shallow depth of field. It'll focus more on the head of the animal or the person, depending on what your subject is. I'm gonna put a comma, and then I'm gonna put maybe in a tree, and then let's say a blue sky with fluffy clouds. If I can spell properly, clouds, and then maybe cinematic lighting something like that. I'm going to press enter and it's going to regenerate. And all of a sudden I'm starting to really guide Firefly and text to image in the direction that I'm looking for by adding the specific keywords and helping you know define the environment. And then we have something like this, right? Really cool looking, but looking at it, it definitely captured what I'm looking for, but I think the visual intensity is a little bit too high. So in this case, I might just want to drop it maybe somewhere in this range here. So it's more of a little bit more of a raw image and it's not as stylized and crunchy almost, right? And in a second or two, you're gonna see a new example and there we go. So if I go back, I can use the back uh, button on my browser. So there's the before essentially with the stylized the visual intensity a bit higher and then the after. So it, it keeps the same image basically. Um, but then it adjusts the visual intensity. And then you have something like this. And what's really nice is you can now download this directly to your computer. And what you're gonna notice the first time, it, I've, I've dismissed it previously, but the first time you download something on Firefly, it's gonna tell you we're adding content credentials automatically to this image so that it can always be verified, right? You can bring it into our content authenticity initiative website. You can verify it that it was generated with AI, which is kind of cool. Thank you.